Thompson uh, is an electromechanical clutch and brake manufacturer. We have an advantage in, in a certain niche of speed and inertia loads that uh, financially gives our customers a superior benefit in their machine building. What this is, this is a, a test fixture that simulate applications that customers use this product in the field. This system could be a, um, a punch press, it could be a, a cutoff knife, um, feeding uh, labels into a machine. Back here you'll see there's a servo, servo motor, uh, there's an inertia weight which is simulating similar loads for the wrap spring. Then you can see the visual, there's just hardly any visual difference between the two products. If you're on a pick and place robotic machine and you need to move at 15 to 20,000 RPM, that is an absolute application for a servo system. However, if you're a, a hole punching machine or you're a banding machine or a packaging machine, and most of the time you're in that 500 RPM or, five, or 750 RPM range, a wrap spring is a more elegant solution. A, it's more cost effective, of course, and technologically it's, it's on par with the servo drive system. I think the, the best way to look at it is the complexity of the servo drive system and the cost associated with that servo drive system is uh, far more difficult to add value to your application. Uh, if you have a machine that um, sells for $10,000 and you're installing a $3,500 servo system, it's going to make it very difficult for you to compete in the marketplace, whereby if you have an electromechanical wrap spring application doing the same function, um, you'll be looking at a cost probably more in the $500 to $650 range. What we have here, this is the wrap spring scope trace and this is the servo scope trace. Basically, you, as you look at both of the screens, you can see the, the angular accelerations, um, the time to speeds, um, the rated RPM and the braking time are pretty much similar. The wrap spring um, can do the same functions as the servo. The wrap spring clutch and brake are designed for lower speeds from 250 pound inches up to over 5,000 pound inches and there's different frame sizes and again they have different speed capabilities associated with them. The servo system as I mentioned earlier on the cost factor is nearly six to seven times more than the wrap spring would be. With using the servo uh, of course you need, you need the motor uh, then uh, to, to make the motor uh, operate, you need the you need the power supply, and you need the driver, which is uh, our additional cost in addition to the servo itself. For servicing the item uh, down the road, if anything went go went wrong in the field, all right, with your machine, uh, it would be very simple to send replacement parts if it were a wrap spring application, and to train your customer to repair the machine. Um, if it is a servo system, most of your customers will not have that sort of level of capability to repair them. And the cost associated with that is extremely high compared to a wrap spring application. If you look at your total installed cost for a servo system versus an electromechanical wrap spring, uh, you're looking at approximately six to seven times just for the hardware for the installation base. Our expertise and experience and applications has given our customers, I believe, the value that they need to grow their business. It's our job to introduce the technologies all right, to the marketplace to enable them to make a rational decision for their business of whether or not a wrap spring is better suited for that specific application versus the uh, servo drive systems.